Okay, we're back. We're gonna try it again. To glory! We've got a new queen. Oh wait, it's Suniva the queen again. Oh, all of the ores are down in one area. That is absolutely fine. So, we're, we're gonna try it again. Hopefully it'll be more successful this time. Chances are, it probably won't be. Knowing our... our strats. <laughs> Uh, yeah, man, we just we just get super killed super fast. Uh, so, right, we're going to start out with our basic rooms. We're going to leave one of the people free, and we're going to get working on a dormitory way, way earlier. And we want a little, a little poop station too, right here. Because that will save time from all of the dwarves cleaning up. Cleaning up the poops. Cleaning up the plops. So there's coal... Oh man, it's quite a long way to come down here to get the get the good stuff. We don't have enough space to make a really good uh, really good storeroom. So rooms, we want to have our stoneworks up there. Sure. Okay, perfect. Our stoneworks is complete. We're now making stone blocks. Uh, maybe we won't bother about building the super slick storeroom at first. At the moment, we just want numbers. Because we, we can tell people to do stuff. I just got a bit bogged down in a uh, the automation last time. So, what do we need next? Next up, metalworks. In here. And, oh, I'll wait for, wait for this guy to finish out his stuff. We probably didn't need to build the throne room straight away. We just want guys out fighting. Man, this place is so dirty. What is the cleaner up to? Uh, so, we also do want to get our toilet to stop people pooing everywhere and making the place very dirty. Dirty dwarves. Okay, right, the bunk beds are all complete, but they're filthy. Okay, and it's good because that's increased our, well, will increase our pop cap. Now, maybe we do just get another cleaner in. So now we need, oh, we need some coal and we'll complete our next area. Also, we need we do need like a constant supply of coal to keep um keep the keep all the lanterns lit. Because without them, without coal, all the lanterns disappear. Which is a bit of a bit of a pain. So the furnace just needs just needs some coal. Oh it's got the coal. It just needs to be built and cleaned up. And then we can start making sweet, sweet iron bars. Oh man, guys, go and clean up the uh, clean up the filthy bedroom. I need people to move in there. Okay, great. They're cleaning up the bedroom. It's now fully operational. Soon the dwarves will be having sweet dwarven lovemaking sessions. And we could do with maybe some more rooms down here. So we've got some iron ore. We need to make iron bars. Iron bars to get a pickaxe. Oh. oh, someone gave birth somewhere. Oh, and the guy's using the toilet. Excellent. Okay, we've got a baby. Lovely baby dwarf. So maybe we need to get working on our place. You know what I mean. The storehouse. So also what we can do is, uh, so we get a new baby every 60 seconds, which is just lovely. Lovely baby dwarfs. <laughs> okay, we'll put the storage up here. It's a, it, they have to walk a long way, but it's next to all of our buildy stuff. Oh, and the naked dwarfs are back. So these guys will happily dig it up. We can get a new miner. Oh, another baby. We need a whole load of limestone blocks. Oh, another baby's come, been pooped out. Excellent. Man, look at us, we're thriving. Um, we don't have much metal. Man, we need a lot of, a lot of metal. We need at least four iron bars so we can recruit some guys. So let's do that. Oh, we need coal for it too. Here we go. This will be fine. Just, just dump it everywhere. 
Like, it's a... We're a mess at the moment, but this is all action stations. Okay, we've got one crib in our nursery. And that will increase the, sort of, like, the spawn rate of our... Our little gobos. Not a gobos. That's who we're against. The dwarves. That's who we're after. And... Get me some spears and some armor up here. Okay, right now I can begin the automation. Let's get a thing up there. Okay, now we get a new new baby dwarf every 30 seconds. Oh, the dwarves are here making a new baby, doing a little bit of kissing. That's how dwarf baby is made. Okay, we've got a spear, we've got a suit of armor. Okay, now, right. This should help, because now we can just straight up recruit a militia. I already feel more confident this time round. We've got a bit more of an army coming together. Perfect. Oh, actually, do we have enough stone? Because I feel like the, the queen probably should be down in her throne room. There's poop everywhere. The dwarves are getting, getting pretty ill. I do not want a plague. Guys, just... There's a, a very quiet bunk room for you to use. You do not need to be sexing each other in the middle of the halls. Okay, there's only a minute left before the goblins, the goblins arrive. And, well, 70 seconds. But we've got enough, oh, enough to recruit another militia member. Okay, this, this is going pretty well. We're, we're getting along. Throne room's not active, but... That's okay. Oh, shit. Okay, everyone stay by the queen. Okay, right. Who isn't doing jobs at the moment? Okay, we need we need more stone stuff going on. Should we get, like, another pickaxe? Maybe. Another pick. And, you know, another armor and other thing. I think that would probably be good. Maybe we just tell them just to fill this place up with limestone. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think that kind of works. Oh man. What a I'd make an amazing dwarven queen. Or maybe I could marry this dwarven queen and become the dwarven king. I'm not sure how it works. Oh. Oh, they they went down. Excellent. Okay, right. Oh. Oh man. Oh my god. Wow, I did not Oh shit. Well, I've literally never clicked down this far. So I guess we're trying to get to the Arkenstone. Oh, shit. Oh, okay, right. We shanked. Shanked a goblin. Oh, we fucking axed a goblin. Okay, this is excellent. Blammo. Oh, these militia. Oh, we did it. Okay, we've got... Oh, we've got time. So, the game's continuing. We did not balls it all up like we did last time. So, what else do we need to put in there? So, we always want to have iron ore... And we always want to have iron bars. And maybe we can even make this bigger and say that we always want to have weapons in there too. Or multiples of these things. Hmm. Okay, so maybe it's time to get even more dwarves into our dwarf stronghold. It's not really a fortress yet, but it's getting there. Here we go, like that. So we've kind of got this like bit of a dead space here. Although we could make this more efficient. Maybe. Oh. I don't know. It's it's confusing me. It's time for us to start going down. Oh. Oh, there's some armor down there as well. So maybe we should make like a dedicated area with just more guys making making stone stuff. As, man, we use, we use a lot of stone, don't we? So we need to start getting into kind of like polishing. But we can do that. Um, do we have another guy? And we can make another warrior? So who's this warrior going to be? Okay, we've got the weapons and the stuff. And this guy, Asvidur the warrior. Excellent. Okay, a minute until the next wave of goblins. And we are just busy building toilets. 
Okay, this all looks good. See, now we can go down a level and start mining more stuff. Oh, it's exciting. Wow, this is like the furthest I've made it so far. I feel like we probably want... We, I'm going to say, like, let's just always have a chainmail and a spear. That way it'll just keep, keep guys busy. And we do want to have another stone cutter if we've got a spare dwarf for it. Which I'm sure we will. I think that'll be okay. Got the plague. Man, just people pooping. Pooping all the time. What did that guy do? He just changed his clothes. Is he ditches Oh! Oh shit! Goblins! Bloody thousands of them! Oh fuck! Saga! Okay. Right. Saga the goblin. Shanked one of our guys. Oh shit, there's like two of them there. Oh. Okay, we that was a pretty brutal fight. Oh man. They died. Uh, so we're gonna need... We, we need a whole load of extra militia. As those goblin attacks are getting pretty savage. Okay, right. Four militia. That's the aim. So that should have everyone working away pretty nicely. We've got some dudes just chilling out with the queen. And... Let's get this... Going on. So I kind of think, like, we're going to do a big load of bunks around here, and uh, we, what we can do is actually fill in some of these areas and make this whole thing a bit more usable. Maybe we'll put another crib in as well. Should we get a crib? Uh, nursery. That's what they're called. The crib's what... Crib goes in the nursery. There we go. Crib in the nursery. Okay, the dwarves are really just leaving, leaving the the babies around the place. Like you should just don't just dump them on the floor, especially in like a main thoroughfare like that. It's really really bad, bad for the baby's health. Okay, perfect. We've got a new dormitory. We probably need some toilets down here. Uh, where are we going to put the toilet? Let's have one there. See, wait. Oh yeah, put a toilet there. Though, do we make it more efficient? Ah, it's fine. Oh. Oh, they're sexing in the, uh... In the, the story. Guys, come on. You gotta take this seriously. Goblins are coming. Bloody thousands of goblins. But look, oh man, look at our army. Helka the Huskarl. Just, oh, what a pro. Okay, so I think I've just worked out people move faster in the light. Oh. Oh, man. Pooped out a baby, had a little drink. Okay, do we have enough weapons and armor now? So we still have one person waiting to... waiting to come along. But that's, that's all right. Here we go. So we're going to dig up some more stone from here, get some iron ore, and we'll have a brand new storeroom down here too. And then we can start getting another smithy and a smelter or whatever. See, I wonder, can we have a more eco guys, like the, just the constantly getting butt naked. So wait for them to dig that out. Can they dig, can they dig this? Okay. Oh god. Goblins. How many goblins are coming? Oh shit, it's five this time. Attack! Oh, oh my god, that's... Do you see that charge? Oh, the goblins are fleeing. Oh, they shanked one, but... Man, look at us go. Oh, fucking heroes. We're nailing it. So I want to see... Can our rooms be weirder shapes? Uh, yeah. Yeah, they can. Oh, man. That changes everything. 
So let's get a anvil down there. Uh, we want a smithy in here, though. I wonder if we go like that and fill this one in. Hmm. Okay, right. We've got we've got some filling to do. I like I like the extreme tessellation of this all. Oh my god! Just like look look at the action. Look at how we're thriving now. Isn't it amazing? Just try and tell me that this isn't super cool. <laughs> Maybe it's a little bit slow, but man, I am I am super into it. Suniva is 100% going to marry me very soon. Um, oh, oh, look at look, this hive of activity down here. All those floors just working away. Babies sprouting out of everywhere. We're doing it. 